For this video, we are going to learn a little bit about plating. For materials for the first project, I pulled out a one-sided placemat. You can work with two-sided, but remember to have two different patterns on each side so that you don't get mixed up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the mat into strips. These strips are going to be the same width and same length. You can use a ruler at home to draw the lines before you cut. I'm going to make marks on my mat at one inch. Once you have marked your mat with the inches, we're going to work on drawing the straight lines. Remember, when you go to cut, cut very slowly and very carefully. Once we have all our strips, we're going to come back together and we're going to start plating. I have my lines and I'm ready to start cutting. There's one strip. Now remember, if you don't have a mat to start with, you can always use paper. Just make sure that you cut enough strips. I am going to try to start with 10. Now we have two sets of five strips for a total of 10 strips. Now we need to set up our workstation. We're going to lay five strips side by side with the same side up using tape. What I like to do is fold one end of the tape so that it will be easier to take it off. There's one strip down. Now we have two. There's three, four, and now we have five. Here's the exciting part. Now we get to start plating. What is plating? Plating is a type of weaving where you go over and under with your weft. Your weft is the piece that you're holding in your hand. So here's my weft. I'm going to weave it over, under, over, under, and over again. So you see, this is over, so this must be under. So we're going to put this under here. Here's my over. Looks like this one has to be under. And now this one is over again. The next thing we need to do is switch it on the next row. So we're going to grab our strip and we're going to go under, over, under, over, under. So let's try that. Let's see if we can get that there. It's okay if your pieces 
are not tight at first. We can tighten them up later. Just like that. Maybe your tape comes undone a little bit. You can put a little bit more tape on there. So we're going to tighten this up nice and tight. The next thing we're going to do is the thing that we did first. We're going to copy this row. So let's see if we can do that. The next thing we're going to do is copy this row. So that means this one and this one are going to go over now. Can you guess what we're going to do next? We're going to copy the second row. So that means this one, this one, and this one go over now. Next, we're going to put in our last piece. I think you know what to do now. But just as a reminder, we're going to take this piece and this piece and go over now. Congratulations, you just did your first plating. To finish up our project, I'm going to put some tape on the back so that we can flip it over and see the pattern that we've created. Now it's time to flip it over. Here's my project, flipped over and almost ready to go. Next, I'm going to cut off the extra around the sides. There you have it. There's our first way to make a plated mat. What else can you use at home to make your plated mat? Can you make it bigger? Can you make it smaller? How would you do that? Think about different sizes of our strips going each way. Can you make a pretty pattern with different colors? Let's see what you can do. Here is a mat made out of paper. Here is another mat made out of paper. Can you see how many strips I used to make this mat? And finally, here is a challenge piece. Can you find construction paper and make small strips and make a mat? I'd like to see you try.